Ah, hello. Right, we've got first print going down. Absolutely diabolical. This is HDPE. Um, I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well. That's the fan and the uh, yes, the extruder is going absolutely. See in there, nuts. And as you can see, uh, it's not really sticking very well. <laughs> and my my extruder weight is somewhat to be desired. But hey, keep calibrating. Um, I said this is HDP, so it's a bit of an issue. So what I've done is I've put it on some OSB, so chipboard basically. Um, the only thing I found it's stuck to so far, which I've kind of gone for a few different things for bed bonding, is um, what is it called? Acrylic primer. So far, I've tried loads of different glues and all sorts of stuff, and it doesn't like any of them. This stuff is an absolute pain. I'm trying to get hold of something to dissolve. If I can dissolve um, some HDPE, that would probably help a lot. Look, that's terrible. Okay, the warping on that. Oh my God. <laughs> but hey, uh, live and learn, they say. Let's see if it's going to peel it off right now. It's going to do... Mm, oh, it's going to push it down. And it's going to do something to it. And then it's going to peel right back up again. And there it goes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Nowhere near usable right now. But I'm getting there. It's working. Ah. So progress is still progress. It's extruding. This is going at 230 degrees C. Um, nice and just trying to get nice and steady just so I can try and get these lines in properly. If I let you have a look. One second, I'll jump up there. As you can see, you can get good but it's all over the shop, absolutely terrible. And I need to sort that squeaking out. Oh, it's so annoying. But anyway, excuse for the um, delay, but obviously as you can imagine, you know, delay on the last update video, moving back a bit. As you can imagine, it's, um, it's a little bit, a little bit involved um, and everything takes a bit of time. Hence why, you know, it takes time to get in. Oh my God, look at that. Can't believe that extrusion, that, that distortion in the back. Uh, well, I guess I have to find something better to bond to. Um, the only reason I've used this uh, OSB is purely because wood itself is a very poor thermal, has very poor thermal conductivity. So with HDPE, if you, sprint, if you print straight on a cold surface, it will contract almost immediately so it won't even stick or you won't get anything on that, it just, it just contract and that'll be it, it'll just pull away. I mean, as you can see, this is, as you can see at the back, at the back along here, I mean, this is bad enough. Um, I couldn't even get this far on the steel bed, um, just because basically, well, yeah, it's cold. And I've got the heated bed, I'm going to try that out at some point once I get the lights all set in so it starts, you know, running off the system. But we've got to test these things, eh? So... Keep testing, keep trialing, and uh, eventually I will get it. I will get it. I will. So um, yeah, we're doing too not doing too bad. I've got a couple of hundred kilos of um, uh, HDP to play with. Uh, why not? Oh, there's a flicker. Ah, oh, got a bit of a storm going on at the moment, so I'm really hoping that we don't get another power cut like I did the other day. Lucky it was only for about 15 minutes, but the lights keep flickering on me, which is a bit worrying and I hope my roof stays on so because it is quite windy right now here in the UK so <laughs> we'll see anyway hopefully I'll update you sooner than last time I do apologize for the delay and um, fingers crossed the next update will be I'll be able to get this bubby to print something you know print something that will stay stuck will be the ideal scenario anyway so if you like this um, Obviously not, not, not like the print because it's absolutely diabolical, but if you like what's going on and, you know, the machine itself and the, the, the sector, additive manufacturing or 3D printing, whichever way you want to put it, um, please like, subscribe, share, whichever you need to do, please. Uh, it would be fantastic because it helps the channel grow. And uh, definitely thumbs up. Thank you very much. And um, that, at least that way, if I get plenty of thumbs up, um, people should know it's half decent, fingers crossed and um, check out the videos as well. Always helps to progress the channel. So until the next one, thank you very much.